I'm back. Uh, only a few seconds has gone by, really. Um, so this video started at 6.33. Okay. Uh, Bitdefender just opened up, and uh, it wants me to go ahead and... Um, I suppose we're going to use a trial, so I'm going to try to stick with the same license key. If I can get around all these fake pop-ups, that would be awesome. There we go. And a lot of people, I hear a lot of people say, well, why do you use such a heavily infected machine? I had a customer um, Friday that was infected with a lot more stuff than this virtual machine has on it. It was just really, really hard stuff to clean. Several root kits, which are just so sneaky, and I had to use uh, one of my bootable antivirus discs to get rid of it. So this PC is really tame, in my opinion, from what I see on a day-to-day -day basis. I know it may look like a lot of pop-ups and stuff, but um, for some reason they haven't really downloaded many root kits to this PC, if any. I, I haven't seen any evidence of them, really. Hang on, i got to get rid of some of this junk. Yeah, finish. So, uh, okay. Uh, skip registration. Finish. Uh, Bitdefender's finding stuff and quarantining it automatically right now, so... Woohoo! That's pretty nice. I don't. I haven't even configured it yet. It's it's doing a dandy little job so far. It's finding a lot of stuff. It's giving me positive results, saying it actually has moved stuff. Um, so let's go in and try to configure uh, Bitdefender here. trying to open it. Uh, let's just open it through the shortcut on the desktop. PC is kind of slowed down right now. I suppose uh, Bitdefender is working pretty hard. That's understandable. That found a Qhost infection. Now people ask me why I scan in safe mode sometimes and sometimes I don't. Some programs can get rid of stuff in normal mode. If they if they can detect it normal mode but can't get rid of it normal mode then I'll do a safe mode scan that's you know I don't do a safe mode scan for the hell of it it's only if uh, the antivirus program finds something and can't get rid of it in normal mode so hope that clears that up uh, PC it pretty much just has an hourglass right now I am trying to do something here Okay, Bit Defenders open. Uh, I have never used this program, so give me a second here while I figure it out. I want to make sure I get everything checked because I don't want anyone coming back saying I didn't have something checked. It's actually updating itself right now as well. Okay, still trying to get into, you know, advanced settings. I wish I could turn these off, but oh well. Okay. Let's go into antivirus. We're going to choose aggressive. We're going to choose aggressive.
Sorry, just had to mute my mic there. Uh, scanner settings, critical high. You can't hear my hard drive right now, but it's really, really crunching away. Uh, the PC is pretty slow at this point. I don't know if it's doing a scan or what. I can't really see. So I've chosen aggressive. Uh, let me go to vulnerability. I don't really care about that. I know this PC is completely vulnerable. Um, identity, privacy control, I'm not really concerned with that right now. I'm just looking at removal stuff. Uh, virus scan, I haven't done any yet. I'm getting ready to. Um, let's see. This is just update network. Game laptop mode. Not a whole bunch of settings, which is fine. As long as it does the job, I don't care. Gives me a 30-day trial. That's nifty. Have to remember that. All right. Okay, well, basically the only settings I had that I saw, and maybe somebody can, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but I just saw the aggressive setting on the antivirus, which, if I could just close this stuff. Yeah, I just moved it to aggressive, and let's see, they got a custom level thing here, too. Scan new or open. Yeah. All right. Well, <clears throat> not much to really say there. Just pretty basic stuff. It does catch a lot of things right off the bat. I haven't even scanned yet. Um, not sure if it's completely getting rid of them, but we're going to go ahead and uh, do a scan now. If I can just get back to the basic part of the program oh shoot it has some kind of a configuration wizard here I didn't see that I'll try to next through it Uh, I'm not going to run a quick scan. I'm going to do a full scan like I do with every other program. And I'm going to go ahead and pause this video. I'll come back to another part because I'm running out of time.